Hi everybody, this is Cynthia Backyard Garden Tips and I'm here to update you and show you what's going on in the backyard. And here is that perennial garden bed that you saw me on that video cleaning it out. And I'll link that video below and here it is. I got knockout roses. Look at that, how beautiful. And I also have, um, yeah that's the knockout, that pink one. And next to that, I got some poppies there. Look how pretty those are. They kind of been raining hard and the wind been beating them and there's been a lot of heat. But I still think they're beautiful. Tree peony here. Look how gorgeous that is. Very pretty. And I love this color, these poppies. I think that's my favorite color. That and the purple. There's the yucca. I have some echinacea. Purple cone flower. They're getting ready. Got some daylilies in there. They're not ready yet. Foxglove. Look how pretty those pink foxgloves are. There's a peony. That's the oldest plant in that bed. And orange poppies. So pretty. Poppies and roses are my favorite flowers. Look at my irises. Pretty. More foxglove. And the gazing ball down there. Give it a little color. More foxglove. And foxglove are biannuals, and I just take the uh, dead flower heads and I throw them in there. And sometimes I take my finger and rake the seeds off in there, right on the surface, and they just grow. Down there I have a new rose bush that I just put in, bare root. Keep my eye on that and I'll show you the progress. Some more foxglove and I did them the same way with the seed heads and a few of them in some spots I find them growing somewhere and I'll just take it dig it up and put it in there Japanese maple little baby tree looking pretty good I had to cover it over the winter with some chicken wire cause uh, something was eating on it very beautiful. Look at that color. There's a view of the garden from the back. Now this rose bush here, I'm so happy with it. It just tripled in size this year. I mean, it wasn't even that big last year. It's doing great. It's almost reaching the top up there. And look at all the buds on it. It's getting ready to pop. And here's another little rose bush I just put in, bare root. And look at it, it seems to be doing well. We'll keep our eye on that one. There's my bench back there, and I've got to stain that. I have the little pots there that Echinacea just comes back every year. Japanese maple there. There's my pot garden. And I don't have anything planted there. 
had all kind of weather, coronavirus, all kind of protests, everything going on in the world, and it just slowed me down. And I got a bed over here that has hydrangea and hosta in it. And soon as the mulch goes on sale, I'm going to be mulching this bed. Those little cups there, um, I got some free seeds last year and put them in there. And those survived the winter, so I'm waiting on them to grow up. And then I'm going to put them in a bed somewhere once I see what they are. Look how beautiful that hosta is. Wow. This bed is doing quite well. It was a struggle, but I'm getting it under control. And my azaleas, they've just finished. They're going by now. And the hoopchera. I think that combination looks really pretty together when they're in bloom. I kind of hit that one with the lawnmower. That's why it has a little dead on it. But the plant is still good. I have a new rose bush, bare root, I just put in. Hosta. I'm sorry. That's the new rose bush there. I just put that one in. And over here, I have knockout roses and peonies. And on the end down there, you can't see it. There's another uh, new rose bush I put in, bare root. I can't wait for them to start growing and getting some flowers. Because one of them is supposed to have all kind of fragrance on it. I tried to put that one close to the door so when I come out, I can really smell it. Look at these knockouts. Wow. You know, I had said I was going to get rid of these knockout roses. And it was like they heard me. Because all of a sudden, man, they're popping this year. Because I said I wasn't impressed. Look at this with all these buds on this arbor. That's getting ready to pop, y'all. Going to be gorgeous. There goes some more of my pots. Nothing planted yet. I think what I'm going to have is a fall garden. Down here I have some mint that came back this year, which is good. I have some ants in the bottom of one of them. Can you comment below and let me know if that's going to hurt the mint? I don't know. Look how pretty that is. I have those bags down there because while I'm not using them, I lay them down there, let them kill the grass because I'm going to kill all that grass in there. And I'm going to be planting. I have plants plans for that little area. Peonies and knockout roses. That's what you're looking at. Look at those knockouts. <laughs> Boy, they heard me. They heard me saying I was going to take them out. They are so pretty and vibrant. There's another knockout and then a, a rose called Queen Elizabeth, I believe it is. And on the right there, there's a lilac bush and the one closest to the house I'm going to be taking out. And I got some echinacea there. And I think I'm going to put a rose bush right there on that end too. I haven't put that in yet. I had such big plans for my garden and bought a freezer so that I can freeze all my vegetables and I've just had all kind of things going wrong. I had a family, uh, I counted four woodchucks that have moved in, baby ones I saw. I didn't see a mama, so I've been trying to trap them. I just had a lot of different things going on. And I am going to be planting the garden, but I think it's going to be more like fall. Uh, not too much in the summer because it's going to be going in really late. That's how Mother Nature is, so that's all a part of gardening. There's a view. 
You see I got my cattle panel up there. I want to get some more cattle panel and put it on the end. On the opposite end of where that one is. There's the lilacs. The one closest to the house I'm going to take out. I'm going to see can I get some babies off of it before I pull it out. I'm probably going to have to spray that. And on the side here I usually plant tomatoes and I plan on still putting some in. And that there is a David Austin rose bush. And I moved that there from somewhere else and it likes that spot so I leave it right there. And this is the back again just showing you from another angle a couple of things I missed showing on that right hand side is that Queen Elizabeth uh, rose bush I haven't shown that um, it's coming up here in a minute that pink one down there is really pretty. I like that one. And behind it, uh, I got a spot there that um, these are peonies and um, knockout roses. But behind that Queen Elizabeth, I have another rose bush in the garage that I'm going to be putting in there. It's supposed to be having an intoxicating smell. Can't wait. I bought two of them, so I hope that um, they really do smell that good. That's why I'm going to put them by the door. One of them I already have planted by the door, and the other one I'm waiting to put in. Uh, just look at all these buds. This thing is getting ready to really pop. It's going to be so pretty. It's loaded. This rose bush I really like, but I tell you, it has vicious thorns on it. I just bought me some rose gloves that go all the way up my arm because I'm tired of getting injured on that bush. <laughs> 